Hello viewers and uh, my name is Shane Rifkin, welcome to this week's video. I think uh, talking about anything other than the incredible battle between games, GameStop, other heavily shorted stocks and, um, and the Reddit army would be, um, would be unwise, so uh, let's get into it. Um, first thing I think we've got to discuss to get your head around exactly what's going on is, is the way short selling works. It's, it's a pretty simple strategy when you think about it. It is effectively just the reverse of, of uh, buying or going long. But to do so, you actually need to, as you see in step one here, um, the short seller needs to borrow um, shares from, from somewhere. Once it does that, it'll sell at a certain price, obviously banking on the view, uh, banking on its um, the outlook that maybe the stock will decrease in value and then it'll be able to buy those back lower and at that point once they've bought them back they can return them from where they've come um, the what's gone on in the last uh, last few weeks it's pretty pretty incredible and it shows the power I guess of uh, of the retail investor army out there especially in the wake of a pandemic that has left a lot of them um, sitting on big stimulus checks from the government especially in the US uh, additionally that's coinciding with a period where Investing in the stock market has been has become a lot cheaper. Commissions are effectively zero in the U.S. Things are very easy to buy, um, and when you have in this and, if, and what I'm showing you here is the actual Reddit um, Wall Street bets. Um, I think it's called a subreddit, um, and you can see there are six point seven point six million, and as they use the word degenerates, um, and constantly talking about uh, different opportunities. Um, so the GameStop situation is particularly interesting because I don't know whether this is simply a company that was, you know, selling um, selling as a bricks and mortar retailer, selling video games, um, possibly held a um, a soft spot for a lot of these redditors, um, and they've decided to take on the the big hedge funds who had taken a very large short position. In fact, the the short position was well over a hundred percent of the shares on issue. Now I think. Uh, the part of the reason that's been able to be done is that it's not just simply selling shares, it's also selling call options, um, which the market makers have provided uh, liquidity in. Um, and it's meant that there's been an incredible opportunity for buying stimulated by these this army of retail investors and then the short covering that you would see when... Um, when the short sellers realize that they're on a losing bet um, and that's when you see this incredible 1700 plus percent return um, over just a few weeks. Um, rather than getting into whether you know who's going to win this battle I think what, what this clearly has done is changing the short selling game possibly forever. Um, the, I must say it's short selling does seem to be a strategy that comes without enough regulation, I should say. Um, certainly in Australia, there are a, a number of, of examples of companies that have been targeted by short sellers. Um, often that's been accompanied by a short selling report, which explains the reasons why the company has sold short. But, you know, if ever I've seen a conflict of interest, it, it's right there. Um, it's uh, often on very superficial information, misinterpretations of uh, accounting, for example, that are put out into the public. And once they're in the public, uh, those rumors start to grow and grow and grow. And then you see these stocks fall and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy for the short seller. Um, but it does seem too easy a bet to make. Um, and to my, from my perspective, it feels like if you're going to be able to put out these sort of reports, um, it can't just be speculation and a rumor it needs to be hard facts which it very rarely is you know names like in australia at least uh, wise tech technology one um even simic a few years ago all the subject of short selling attacks um and all i would ultimately say um with information that didn't prove to be that accurate so i think this is a good little lesson for um the short sellers out there as far as reverberations into the broader market, there's been quite a lot of volatility in the last few days and certainly there is uh, the view that some of these hedge funds that have taken a bath are covering their positions and covering their losses by selling long positions as well. Um, 
possibly that's true. I think also the market just does not like uncertainty. And right now, this is exactly what that's breeding. So uh, I don't think there are going to be long-term implications for the broader stock market. But yes, the short selling game has probably changed a lot. Long short funds out there are probably going to have to go back to the drawing board and reconsider their strategies going forward. Um, and yeah, really good lesson and a um, you know kind of a nice example of uh, of retail investors uh, getting one up on the professionals. Anyway, um, anyway, that's it for for this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you found it useful, please click like and subscribe, and obviously be sure to leave some comments if you have something to say. Thank you very much.